Hi there and welcome back at freezing temperature. The frost is just a subtle reminder that I need to speed things up a little bit for winter is here. So let's get started. So, you think, what a lovely and quiet garden? Well... Some of you suggested in the comments that instead of raking I should use a leaf blower as it was more comfortable. And in fact I do have one. I used it once and never again. If you are not constantly trained on this machine the garden most likely looks as if a tree exploded. And in the end you have to collect the leaves by hand anyway. No leaf blower will transport them to the compost heap. Leaning to the house you can see the nearly new door I'm going to install today. I bought it as a used one for 80 euros on Craigslist. It is just a temporary solution until the final one will be delivered in January. In the comments to the previous video many of you had questions to those balcony doors, as we call them here in Germany, and why I'd need three doors in one room. Well, technically these two doors are just large and oversized windows. The fact that windows here are usually tilt and turn ones make them two additional doors but most likely they will be used as windows. Some of you wanted to know how much those large windows cost. These ones here are rather cheap. I bought them for 190 euros or 225 US dollars in my local home improvement center. Finally, today it is time to say goodbye to the old door. From the very beginning I knew that this one wasn't original to the kit house. It is much too wide and spans over two panels. The original one is just as wide as those old windows. Somebody must have installed it later. A big mistake, as I discovered later on.
As always, I try to dismantle instead of demoing to make as little damage as possible. When I got the old door frame removed, I discovered that a large part of the roof has been sitting just on this thin stick. A span of nearly 3 meters or 10 feet. And on top of this, the lower section of the board was rotten. I've been concerned that removing the old door would weaken the structure even more. So I first sistered this little stick up before I went on. And again some snow in November.
So now everything should be safe and sound. To install the new header I have to cut the wall open. Of course, the header will be supported later on on the right hand side by another beam. Anyway, I called it a day. Like last time I poured some concrete off camera. And more supporting beams.
on my handsaw, you can see it's Sunday again. The following construction is, like the door, just temporary because the real door is a bit wider. But I have to get the house watertight. old fellows from my concrete experience. Just temporary.
Finally! Yes, this door is heavy. Finished. Another step on my way. Thank you for watching and see you all next week. Hi there and welcome back at freezing temperature. The frost is just a subtle reminder that I need to speed the